Hello, everyone. Shut up, Sindri. Shut up, Sindri. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to God of War. In the last episode, we came, um, we were, we were coming down here to this, these ice caverns by breaking a hammer down to the ground. We also explored the photo mode a bit, because why not? And, uh, we heard, wow. We also heard the, uh, two cousins, why did I say cousins? Two nephews of Boulder, or Thor's son, sons. And, uh, it seems that we might have to deal with them. Because they're really close. I don't know. Maybe. It's a possibility. Also, if you're wondering, we can't really do much with this because we already passed the explosion. There's probably nothing in it, really. Cool. Jump over here, I guess. There's his eye. He's a pretty boy. Let's get that chisel, boy. Chisel time. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Well done. Oh, yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> cool. So this is a dual fight here. So the only way to fight these guys is, uh, well... Is to do a lot of damage to one of them. And hope that you don't get hit by another one. Uh, I find the best way to do these fights is to focus on the one with the shield first, as he is, well, a lot easier to hit. Once he's gotten down two health bars, you can start hitting the other one and hope, and just hope, that you do something good with him. Uh, if the other one's stun goes down too fast, then he will get back up, and uh, you don't want that, because then you have to fight him over again. So, let's hope that we can get him down the health we need him to before he gets up. Seems we should be fine, though. And just remember, the uh, heavy runic that we have is like the best heavy runic in the game. So. Once both of them are down, they do this little attack thing. Uh, and they try to blind us. So now, this is the checkpoint of the fight. Right here. What does Odin want? Come here. Shut up! Don't call me that! Uh, and the only way to do this is to see where they are attacking and then block it. Once you do it, I think, three times for this first one, they will stop and go back to fighting again. I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. We're gonna hit this though. So, uh, then comes phase two, which I think is the harder phase of the two, of the, of the two so far, anyways. And with this one, you don't really need to focus on somebody, I'm gonna focus on the shield guy, the sword guy, and then just use the uh, heavy runner attack that we have on the other guy. Oh, Get some help here. Um... Then, once you have just one of them left, turn on super mega mode, and then just do this to them. Makes the fight super easy. And here comes the uh, second checkpoint of the fight. So if you die any, if you die in the third phase, then you will get uh, spawned at the very end of this. Okay, so now they're gonna start faking us out. Um, it's always the first one that you see that is not the right one. It's always the second one. So yeah, but they always they always give you time, so don't worry. Sorry, overstepped, yeah. 
there are times they'll trick you and uh, send the right guy after you, so you do be ready, just in case. Um, but yeah, these these portions of the fight are really easy. But then it starts the um. The, the main difficult part of the fight. Not attack alone. I'd say it's really difficult to attempt to. So yeah, those are, this is this is the fight. Um Uh, he's gonna start shooting lightning. But yeah. Ignore any bad words Artreus says. He's, he doesn't know any better. Uh, do know that they can do that attack that they did before again. Just get ready to block it. Because that's what they're doing right now. It stuns you for a second, but as long as you, uh, well, know how to deal with it, you should be pretty good. Now they're gonna start doing attacks that just just electrify you because screw you. So get ready to like run to healing and stuff just in case. Get up. Okay, so in this third phase, I'd say uh, get one of them really low, but don't kill him quite yet. Then use your heavy runic attack that you have and. Uh, then knock the other one out. Like, get him really low so there's only one, like, one bit of health left, and then do it. And then, this is it. From this point on, there's nothing, I'm not doing anything. It's just a game. And then we have to press that. So, yeah. Sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. Where do you go, lad? <clears throat> I'm fine, see? So we just killed the god. That hasn't happened in a while. We should keep an eye on him. Cool, give me some left tier alloy. Also, give me a frozen flame! That right there is actually the final frozen flame that you can get in the game. Just a heads up. Uh, that is the last one you can get. Well, it's not in the game. That's the last one you can get in the story mode. Uh, there's actually one um, that you have to get from a side area, but that's all the upgrading we'll be doing to this weapon for a while. Not for a while. Actually, it's going to be the last for now. Until I decide doing the side stuff is okay with me. I don't know, it might be later down the road and after the next, like, With that, we can carve the after the next playthrough or something. Get you where you need to go. Out of the way, now that we have the chisel, here's a amazing new thing. So any doors that we see with this on it, we can now go through it by simply, well, hitting with the chisel. We have to hit in certain spots or it won't work. Once we do, you open the door up, allowing you to continue on through. And, uh, succeeding. You so, yeah. Killed, Maggie. killed him. Did. She was a god. But yes. You him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. In his father's store. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. 
Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Since always, my boy. My I child. A place that may contain some Wait, useful treasure. Wait, we were here before. But which way back? So, um... I never talked about it, but this door is right here. Um, it's you know it's always been right here, so now we can actually head back. So yeah. Um, so any doors we see at this we can open now, but uh, all of them except for like three of them are not story mode, and they're all here. So yeah. Um, they all they, the majority of them hide a certain side boss named Valkyries and there are eight of them in the game that you can find and then one of them you have to get because it was a side mission it's known the AC of find the uh, so yeah. to Valhalla no Valkyrie escort no processing at the gates of Helheim that may be significant hmm. so yeah now we still got a little bit left to do what all right, boy. Fisherman would bring the day's catch oh, into this on. port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Boy, you really don't sound good. God, God, I was not ready for the the unhealthiness of you, God. So we have to send our uh, our Trius up. I can get it. Um. And hopefully he can get this thing. Can you hit this down? Okay, or don't. That's cool. I thought I would have like gone. Okay, whatever. Um. Yeah. So now with him on the lift, he can come over here, hit this thing down, a rope up here. <laughs> and ba-boom, ba bing we have a way out. Or do we? Because we need that elevator still. So let's go back down and get the elevator fixed and then like make it fixed in that one position because that's the only way we could well succeed. Cause that's how things work around here. Alright, hold on. It's getting there. Alright. There we go. Alright. So now we can head up there and everything should be good. So yeah, cool. I also like I don't see. I don't know why I said also. I like how um, the thumb here has the the wrinkles as our thumb would as well, but they're just enlarged because it's a giant. I don't know. I find it pretty cool. Give me hack silver. Oh yeah. All right. So we're knock this down. We don't need to uh, go down it. It's just it's there just in case. Now we're not over here. And with this. We can finally leave. I think. Not quite. Back under his palm. We're almost there. But we were here before, so. We just did. Yeah. Climbed around a dead giant. Rogue a giant falling hammer? Fought some bad gods? What See? Do you think mother would say? Two episodes ago, we were here. Come a long way. Thanks. I might as well pick this up over here. Cool. Uh, so now... Where do we head? I don't know. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. 
The doors are beneath this temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fable. This is not the right Black direction. Of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. So, yeah, now, uh. You might be wondering. What do we do next? Well, we're not doing any side stuff because they screw that. You so, yeah. The story what were you saying about the long Pretty cool. Walk? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to bring stuff only. between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired hmm. to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, because we'll head into the vault next episode. So, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Crash Channel. There, uh, we're going to do some upgrading, because, geez. Uh, so, yeah. If you don't want to see upgrading, I'll see you guys next time. If you do, uh, well, uh, yeah, we got some upgrading now. So, we're going to level this up, because that's good. And uh, we got some saving up to do. God. Um, and then, other than that... Um... We're gonna level this up. Now we're gonna go see Brock first before we finish up completely because I wanna level up the axe. Because that's just bait that's like necessary at this point, but nothing like too crazy. You know? Cool. Tears Vault is behind that magical lock. You know, it's funny. I said I did say the outro, the but it was. The entrance to Tears Vault is at the bottom of these stairs. But it's Whenever nothing they don't need. So yeah. You go after the Black Rune, yeah. It's just I'm upgrading my weapon. That's it. Um, for you know, this is gonna be the end of the episode here, anyways. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll do that stuff next episode tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys then. Something on your mind, boy. Can't roll these up. That. See you next, where's oh, I'll see you.